Well, hey guys and gals, welcome back to part three here on Glen Isla in the uh, challenge map with R.D. Allen. Uh, official link for this map is now in the description down below, guys. So, I mean, give it a download and come on and join in with us. Have a bit of fun. A uh, bit of explaining to do before we start. Uh, <laughs> At the last episode, I did do the rest of the bailing and I went ahead and uh, took it over to the bail cell point and the bail cell point trigger was missing. Uh, yeah. So, since then there has been an update to the map which is added back in the seal, the, the seal point for the, the bales. Uh, but unfortunately I need to start a new save game. So, I went ahead, started a new save game and got us back to where I believe we were when uh, when we finished. Uh, I did get a bit of a better price for uh, the crops we sold. So, there you go. Uh, a few other things to explain. Uh, this setup. As you seen the last time, we did have this uh, silo here with us, uh, but there was a problem with the cedar. Um, I don't know why it's a giant thing or why it's to do with the mods. I would think it's a giant thing, but it would let me put fertilizer only in the cedar. Uh, so then what I did was I put this down, and um, it's like a story silo. Uh, took some seed out, put it in here. Uh, tried to fill the cedar with that, it only recognized fertilizer again, so then we had to go ahead and put a seed fill tank in. Not the greatest of setups now, but hey, we'll live with it. So, um, I might have to put a solid fertilizer one down too, and um, we'll only be using that for lime. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what way we go with it. Um, that is about the only change, we've redone the grass field, so we plowed it all up, planted, planted the grass back. Um, this one is beans. We plant that one beans, and this one here has yet to be seeded yet. Um, so what I plan to do this episode is go ahead and set a hard rocker off seeding this. I'm gonna plant some more beans, I think, and uh, we'll get along with harvesting this. We do have a change of harvester. Um, the Massey didn't like the header, so I went ahead and just up, you know, put up the Russell Marsh instead. Then that was the only change of vehicles from the original save. So hopefully the header will work better on that. As you seen the last episode it was missing bits. Um, again guys don't forget to check out RD Allen. The channel link is in the description. Um, go ahead and uh, find out how badly he's losing in this competition. And uh, we'll get to it. As you can see we need to set that for beans. Again guys Definitely give this map a try. There, there is some teething issues. Um, it was a bit rushed out. Um, everybody was wanting it. Uh, so, yeah. Then again, I mean, it is a fantastic map. Updates are being made to it, so. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm just going to set that off in the hard burger. I didn't put that beans, didn't I? Okay. And uh, we are going to get uh, harvesting. Oh, look at this. Uh, I don't mind this harvester. It's not a bad harvester. Okay, so the, the challenge so far, um, well, what we plan the challenge so far is to make sure that uh, all the animal pens, all the large animal pens, uh, we're going to have them full and fed. We're going to have to farm everything. So, you know, for example, the pigs, everything, all their parts of their food has to be farmed. None of it can be bought in the shop. Uh, same for bales. Uh, we're going to use bales where, as far as we can go with bales. Um, for feeding and the straw and whatnot. So that's pretty good. What else are we doing? Um, okay, yeah. Again, there's been a few suggestions and whatnot in there. Um, there was a few comments there from um, JS Farms and uh, Legendary Tater and that um, about the game volume being a bit high. Hopefully I've fixed it in this one. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Um, hopefully it's better for you.
And again, no big plans as of yet, just to uh, start trying to earn some cash. Okay, that will go away. Just trying to earn some cash. We'll upgrade some machinery when we can. I have my eye on a new tractor, actually. And, uh, yeah, get some more fields and whatnot when we can as well. Prices in this map aren't particularly OP, so, I mean, it's going to take a while to get prices for doing anything. Um, we do have to get some mowers and whatnot still as well, and tethers, etc., etc., for, for grass bales and hay bales and whatnot. Um, we'll probably just go with the Novocat ones for now, just the, the original one that goes in the front. We'll, we'll get the butterfly mowers down the line. Uh, window, etc., etc. We're going to need a... Uh, there's still a lot to get, um, but we're going to have to work up to it. This will not take too long to bounce out this field anyway. So yeah, uh, we were recommended, I think it was JC Gaming recommended we put the, uh, the fields together, but we'll get through the comments there in a, in a second as well. Get all the fields put together over there. Um, I think JS Farms was recommending it too. I think where we can, we'll uh, definitely join fields together and make them a bit bigger. Um, but the prices on here, I'm going to need uh, to sell bulk rather than just small amounts. As of uh, recording this, the uh, guidance steering, or I suppose the GPS really, is out. I haven't got it included in the game because I know a few people have uh, complained about breaking their game so far. Plus as well, I'm not too sure how to use it yet. Um, I'm not too sure if I like it compared to what it was in, in 17, but we'll see. Um, from what I've seen from Marty Allen's videos, uh, we've more or less went for the same sort of equipment. Uh, apart from the harvester, and obviously the you know we got a superior tractor. Well, we did. Um, well, we got a superior ply, and we got our, our color of our spreaders nicer. Oh, we're just doing better. Anyway, um, yeah. <coughs> so, definitely bounce over and check out the videos. Don't forget to tell them that we sent you over, and uh, you're over there to con you know, give them condolences this early for losing out this early. Looking at the comments then. Uh, let's see, where are we? Good, yeah, there we are there. Gary Liska was saying, glad to see you're back. Missed your wit. Oh, thanks, man. Um, as I said um, in the last videos and stuff, I just, I don't know, I didn't have the enthusiasm to stream the, you know, the stock maps. Everyone was doing it. But, you know, I think it would just really get boring watching another person doing stock maps. Uh, yeah, Legendary Taylor where I was saying, can I turn down my game volume and turn up the voice volume? Hopefully it's better for you this time. You can barely hear me over the equipment. That's a shock. People normally say the other way around. Shut up. Let me hear the equipment. Joe under the bridge, in a hedge, up a tree. You know, driving off a cliff, sand camp. Sagovich was saying, Great vision, Mr. McConsell. Um, I can see the future you happy and Randy sad because you won yet again. Hey, don't you know it, Joe? We always win, man. We always win. Uh, Dylan Law was saying, can't wait to watch Randy lose again. Ah, you know, and, and seconded by Ryan Clark there. Why third that? Uh, yeah, let's be honest with you. Out of the, the competition so far, we've had three. This is the fourth one. Uh, you have, well, the PC, yeah, I'm going to say it was a PC on it. Um, it was a multiplayer PC versus console. 
Um, and it wasn't a single player challenge, so you know. Perhaps you've only won. You know. Because no. we definitely won the other two. And we're winning this one. Of course, if we can never get the judges out of the insane asylum. Um, after trying to judge the last competition. Let's just uh, bounce over and get some more comments up on the screen so we can read them. Let's see, Dwayne Griffith was saying, another butt kicking for Artie Allen. Um, and he was saying about the game sound as well. Um, glad to be watching me again and keep up the great job. Again, thanks Dwayne. Uh, my driving critique here has uh, also commented again, being Nolan. Uh, starting off slowly, in what way? Crashing all around the map at top speed, and you say starting off slowly is speechless. Mm. Again, I just go with Jeremy Clarkson and go, POWER! <laughs> it works for me. And he was also saying there, um, OMG, in a bit of a hurry, are we? Seems like. Tipping things over, almost knocking them around before I get in. Really? Yeah, it's that heavy lifting thing. I mean, I think we have agreed, you know, sort of that the heavy lifting's not being used to lift stuff. I mean, but if uh, a tractor or anything gets stuck and you can't get it out, then, you know, we'll sort of turn a blind eye to that part. Let's unfold the header. <laughs> and he also said it didn't he not even notice the combine was not working again. Um, I'll, I'll drink the fifth in that one, Nolan. And just to keep Nolan happy as well, look, we'll lower the header this time before we take it off. See? We lowered it. Oh, we got the yeah, we got the trigger there for that. That's cool. Fold that up. We want to back up the farm. Let's see if we can get some more comments up on the screen. Okay. Um. Again, excuse me, guys. I seem to be suffering from a bit of a cold here at the moment. So, if I do go silent for a second, I'm just trying to, you know, cough a lung up. JC Gaming was saying there, um, he loves the name of the shop. You know, I will not go there. Uh, definitely not going to go there. Um, no, I didn't notice what kind of shop it was. I just ignored it. I mentally blocked out JC Gaming. Let's there, I get this up to the farm before we look away again, so no one can complain about me crashing into things. I'm park it here. Uh, I don't take it down and sell it. Because we have got a, a loan out, the maxed our loan out as well, so I mean the uh, the loan repayments are quite big. At, you know, when it hits midnight, try to keep some money in here to start off with. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, Ken JC came in. He was suggesting the uh, three fields, you know, put together. We've done that, and he was also suggesting that to apply them all to the boundaries. Um, there's a couple of reasons I haven't done that. Well, I'm not sure where the boundary ends between, you know, uh, say, field 2 and field 3 and field 5. Uh, and the other reason we don't do it right to the border of the map is, at the minute, we're using the hard workers. Uh, of course, plays an option, but you know, it's, it's still got teething issues, I think, is the, uh, the word we're going to put down there. So, let's go ahead and look at our prices. Beans are... 1,678 at sales area 1. Let's go down and sell it. He was also suggesting we do 300 trees. 
You really hate me, don't you? Uh, on all the map, he was suggesting two large uh, animal pens. The reason, <laughs> you know, this, this isn't the full size normal map. This this is a wee bit smaller, um, and we are going to be feeding all the animals from the the produce off the fields and whatnot. So I think two might be a bit steep. Yeah, maybe trying to feed everything. Well, well, we'll see. Uh, the three hundred trees. Uh, is there three hundred trees on the map? I'm not sure. I could see. I'll definitely suggest it. Let's see. Um, it was also saying. Whoa. The plant the soybeans. Yeah, well, well, yeah, kind of. Well, well, that was the, the thought to start with. Although he was saying silly beans or canola. And, uh, also, he said about no OP and the heavy lifting. Again, yes, we're trying to stick with, you know, sort of realistic y type of mods. But um, the heavy lifting one, we're, um, yeah, we're sort of leaving on in case we don't get anything majorly stuck that we need to get out with, you know. 40 grand. Yo, got 10 grand flat. That's not bad. We'll get this back up to the farmyard. Try not to knock into any houses today. It's nice to be mapping the way it's laid out. You know, Scooter Raid has done a really, really nice job on this one. <laughs> Again, JS Farm can turn the sound down, kind of loud. Well, let me know what you think, guys, because I have adjusted it, so... Is it too loud? Not loud enough? Let me know. So... Our helper's finished. Let's go and see what kind of mess the helper's made up here. I think he made it done a good job, you know. Again, I already fertilized the field, so with the fertilization on that, hopefully it's went ahead and give it the second coat as well. We'll pop this here for a second. Let's look at our map. We don't want code of fertilization. I thought that thing fertilized as it seeded too. Uh, let's look at the options. Uh. Okay, I don't understand that myself. It should have done two levels. That should have been the second level in that part anyway. Did it use fertilizer? Use the fertilizer. Ah, uh, here. We'll finish off that wee bit there. See where else it's missed. Uh, bits up down the edges. I'll just tidy this up. So, again, guys, yeah, I do get, do try to get around the answer all your comments. Please leave them down below, and um, as I said to you, I'll get back to them if and when I can. Um, again, any suggestions? Yeah, you know, if you have anything, even mods you'd like to see on here, give us a shout. Let us know, and we'll try and get that sorted for us as well. It'd be nice to get some sort of animals going sooner rather than later, but you know, feeding's going to be an issue, so we're going to have to work on that. I think I seen a wee bit of white down here somewhere. Yeah, there we are. We just not want that. And we'll put the street to work in the other field then. I did notice a wee bit of a shortcut here. Um, we'll definitely uh. Show you that.
There's a wee bit of a shortcut just here. You have to be careful though, because, yeah, it sort of triggers, you know, the collision sticks out slightly where the bush is. And, uh, I'm going to plant some oats in this field. Because I kind of think I need to get started on some horses. Horses are good earners. Um, so why not make some nice money off the horses? No. This doesn't need limed. It doesn't need plied. It's grand. So this will be the first coat. We'll set you off on the worker. That should be ready to go. There you are. And uh, jump over here. Yay! There we are. Prices of bills in this map. Um, let's have a look. Now, grass isn't really worth much. As you can see, grass is only worth what? Let me see which which one's the grass. Ooh. Can you not sell grass? Because I think that's hay, that second one. Straw and hay. There's no sale point for grass. Or is it just missing? Maybe it just hasn't been included. Eh. Who knows. But we're going to have to start building some grass anyway. So what I plan to do here, guys. 40,000 in the bank. Uh, we'll jump in our Ford. And we'll run down to the shop and grab a more. We'll take a different route down this time for a bit of variety. I think the next field I'm investing will be that one. I think I'll just play them in together, even over this roadway. Down past the animal, um, part where we get the animals and whatnot. That's the cell point too. Oh, that's the the login cell point. We'll just go down the centre of this field. And we're at the uh, the shop. We'll try not to look at the signs as well. Don't look at the signs. Horrible signs that they are. I think this should be able to hold, um, power up the, um, the front wars anyway. So, let's have a look in the shop. Um, as you can see, I'll be sort of looking at the tethers and whatnot there and seeing prices. Uh, 19, 20, 30. Ah, we're only leaving 10 grand. Yeah. But we also need to get a wind rule first, too. Uh, windows. Uh, I still fancy the Crone. I know it's big. I know it's cheap. Still the same price as it was in FS17 when Randy was using it in Drumard, though. So therefore, it can't be too OP. Uh, but let's start with some moors, and we'll just get the uh, front moors here for the Novacat. And they need 70 horsepower. Loads of horsepower. I think we'll let course play do this one. If we can. And let's get it back up to the farm. Oh, we hit a hedge. We're in a tractor, but we're allowed to use shortcuts. Well, I'm using them anyway. Oh, nothing in the field. It's just pure, f you know, weeds. We can skip across. Why not? Back up the laneway. And it should take us into the bridge. Here we are. There's a nice big placeable area over there. Um... Let's just quickly take a spin over. In behind here. I don't know, I might actually turn that into the farmyard. See how much it is to buy, it's a short time unit, and then this will be our farmyard. Yeah, something to think about anyway. 
Again, guys, maybe I was, I was thinking there myself as well. I mean, maybe we should include in the challenge, um, you know, who has the best farmyard. Yeah, I'll leave it up to a viewer choice. Let me know what you think about that idea. 300 trees. Oh, I'm still hating that suggestion, but you know, if I have to, I have to. Let's unfold you. And we'll put you in here. So I've already went ahead, and this isn't a defined field, so I have already made the boundary for it. And it's going to be field work, so we're going to go up and down now. 3.7, yeah. Let that choose that all itself. We'll do two headlands, why not? Generate that. We'll get you sort of turned around where we can see you. And we'll uh, just start you from the first waypoint. Drive the course, and let's see what you do. I maybe just hire the window white for this, guys, and you know, for the first time or the first ta couple of times, go and get helper rates moved. Get you see what you need tidied up over here. Seems they've done a decent job. Uh, yeah. Seems they've done a very good job, actually. Let's have a look along the back. Again, off screen, I'll probably go ahead and just give this a, a second coat of fertilization and wait on the weeds coming. And this is a, a field of oat scent, and we have our beans over there, too. We we still haven't really agreed much on you know how much time per week to spend on this. Um, at the minute, I'm really only uh, apart from resetting the map to where we were. I haven't really been on much. Um, let me see what uh, what Artie Allen thinks about the acceptable time to play per week. But again, it all depends on what he has in his schedule too. What, what free time he has. Of course, play seems to be doing a decent enough job here. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to lift it this time. I will go ahead and I'll fertilize it again, but I'm not lifting it. Um, reason being that, it's the same as FS17, if you leave it, you know, let it mow it again, leave it, mow it again, you know, it builds it up and uh, gives you a great big yield when you're ready for it. There's no seasons, there's no problems leaving it on the ground, so there's no rush in lifting it. Let's say when we run the tether around it, you know, make some nice money in hay bales or something, maybe, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He'll be at this for a while yet. Um, I wonder if course play actually tell you still how long there is left. He used to tell you how long you had left. Let's have a peek. Yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? No, it doesn't tell you anymore. It used to tell you down here how long you had left for your uh, your course to run. Oh well. Looking at the time there, guys, um, we're getting close to finishing this one off. If you haven't already done so, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the wee bell for the notifications, obviously, when it's coming up. Again. Oh. Alright, this is where course plays messing up. Alright. I don't know why. It, it seems to stop after the headlands. Let's put our uh, this up. I don't know why it seems to stop after the headlands. Easy fixed. Um, again, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Um, means a lot to to me. Uh, all the new subscribers and stuff coming along. Cheers, guys. Thank you very, very much. Um, you know. I can't tell you how much it means for uh, people to come along and watch the videos. Um, until the next time then, as I say, check out Artie Allen. Link in the description or up at the end of the screen thing here if I remember to do that as well. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next episode then. See you later. Bye-bye.